You know I really love hitchhiking for all of its unexpected adventures and encounters, but it has definitely been a while to get a ride like this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my next Montenegro video. I left the snowy mountains of Domitor and now I'm on my way to Ostok uh, Monastery. Just left, uh, left Niksic, kind of through the country roads, but there's no traffic at all. So I probably have to walk the rest, 14 kilometers from here to the monastery. I actually got a lift at the end with uh, some Russian tourists. They drove me all the way to my hotel here, the Sokolain Hotel. And look at this view, guys. I just checked into the hotel and it's a really, really nice room. Let me show you the view from my balcony. Doesn't get much better than this. to the Ostok Monastery. It's one of the most important pilgrim sites here in all of the Balkans pretty much. monastery now one of the most important monasteries in all of Europe actually people come here from everywhere in the world they fly in and then they start with their pilgrimage and walk a couple of hundred kilometers to get here so I'm at the Pavlona Strava now one of the most famous viewpoints here in Montenegro looking down to the river here this direction is towards the Skada Lake a long day with a <laughs> with a drive there was a little bit of a car accident nothing special but we had to wait for the police then go to the insurance supposed to be in Kotor like four hours ago um, and now I'm still like one half hours away. I got dropped uh, in the touristic town down here with the boats um, but we're out of season and there's no traffic anymore. Waited one and a half hours and there's no car at all so I start walking. I'm trying to get to Sitinje from there I can take a bus to Kotor but it's already kind of late. I think I'll just look for a campsite somewhere here in the mountains and oh man there's just a really amazing moon coming up. Well, probably I won't make it to Kotor tonight. Oh, that's traveling sometimes. Plans change. Okay, so there's like this tiny mountain village up here, um, but I can't find anybody, just the lo loud dogs. You can still hear them now. There's no car coming anymore. Nobody should mind if I just go into the bush here to a flat spot, as far into the bush as I can. Set up my tent there. 
I found a spot uh, away from the wine fields and covered by a few trees and pretty flat spot here. It's actually the perfect campsite because surrounded because I'm surrounded by mountains and the road is going up steep from here. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna check out the area here. I might have to walk up a bit further the road. That's okay. Even if I have to walk all the way to the next city where the buses are leaving or where I have traffic to hitchhike, it would be like three hours hiking or so. So that's not a big deal after hiking a thousand kilometers on the PCT. Check out the video top right corner if you haven't seen that yet. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll go to bed now, I'll watch some TV shows and then I'll see you in the morning. Let's see where we are. <laughs> I am now the sun is just popping up behind the mountain and I'm gonna leave my campsite now so exactly here this is where I put up my tent in the bush here <laughs> and over here there's a, a wine field over there that's where the road is going and yeah since it's quite early now I was thinking maybe I can also do a little side trip to Lofchen Nat National Park I haven't, I haven't been there yet and it's between here and Kotor yeah, back on the road here already. It was just like a minute away from my spot. I'll just keep walking along the road and look at the sunrise and then wait for the next car. Behind me, that's Ochivici, that's the village where I stay pretty much <laughs> in the wine yard. And look at the view down here on this nice little road bend. Just the sunrise was already worth the camping here. <laughs> yeah, there's no cars coming, but I'll, I'll keep walk, walking up. I don't mind walking all the way to the top. you ever travel like this as well where you just hitchhike around and then you get stranded in the middle of nowhere and you have to sleep in the bush with your tent? Let me know in the comments if you've done it before. Yeah, there's actually some land for sale here on a nice flat spot on top of the hill here. On my way up I was already thinking this could be nice to maybe buy some land and build something because there's absolutely nothing around and you've got great views. You're close to Koto and uh, Lufchen. It's a pretty nice spot actually. That it's closed but it's pretty early still and the cat really likes me i can finally see the main road to Cetinia. yeah we have to come over the end of the mountain range there and just behind there should be Cetinia. i walked around i think like 10 kilometers about two hours up the mountains and then uh, Steffi here picked me up uh, she's traveling around she lives in kosovo and she's traveling with her parents yeah we went to Lofchen together there's a mausoleum up there where the former king of montenegro is buried Apparently you can see most of Montenegro from here and I can actually see the mountain range over there. I'm not sure which one it is. I have to check it on the map. But we had some amazing views on the Kotor Bay. We're going to stop there on the way down again.
you made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal trip planner, then check out the link below.